Hello in the game fans, I love cozy games since they make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, and since I've made a video recently on cozy life sim titles, I wanted to take a look at 10 more cozy games which are not necessarily in the same vein, with some management sims and puzzle games in the mix, and again, we'll exclude farming or ranching focused titles for now. Let's begin with Bun House, a super cute title about manning a greenhouse with your fellow bunnies, taking care of the plants and playing and relaxing with friends. While it does look pretty cute initially, things get weird with the bipedal rabbit that is able to grab items and walk around, but I still think it's really cute and certainly worth a look. Speaking of plant management titles, Overgrown is a game where you do have to take care of various house plants and in a nice surprise should be releasing within a couple of hours of this video going live. Where did happen to miss this in indie gaming this week? Still, looks fun and should be free to play, so do give this a look. One of the most amazing Kickstarter campaigns that concluded recently was Odd Fauna, Secret of the Terra Beast, an open world sandbox title where you explore and terraform the land which is actually the back of a giant Terra Beast which forms the world itself, looking to be one of the cutest upcoming titles to watch. The terraforming looks fun and actually serves a purpose, allowing you to alter temperature, soil quality and water levels in order to grow plants that you want with adorable little sprawling creatures tied to the biomes that will help our protagonist. It had a massively successful Kickstarter campaign, raising about 7 times its initial goal and I do hope that this gives them the resources to make this great. A title which popped up a little while ago is Rolling Hills Make Sushi Make Friends, a charming little title where you move to a village with both human and animal NPCs, running your own sushi restaurant and helping to rebuild the town. However, since its announcement in 2019, not much has been heard of since, but here's hoping that it will surface again someday. There's something wistful about packing up and moving, where unpacking looks to capture some of those same feelings as you're simply unpacking your stuff from boxes as you move into a new home. But in a way, it can be really chill and zen, which is why it makes the list. I like the little isometric dioramas of the various rooms in the house, where the pixel art look certainly helps, having you placing and even rotating and positioning various objects. It's always interesting to see what someone packs when they move, perhaps it's practicality or perhaps more sentimental reasons, so to uncover the emergent stories here seems neat. However, my concern is how much of a quote unquote game there is here, but perhaps that does not need to be, and since this has been quite long in development, I'm fairly confident that it will release this year. I absolutely love the character design of Totem Lands, looking very much like Villager from Animal Crossing, where this crafting exploration title has you building colourful totem poles which spit out relics which can be sold in order to purchase upgrades and unlock new areas. Yes, while there is some light combat, it does look to be a whimsical crafting exploration game which seems low stress which makes it a title of interest to me.
Man's Best Friend often features in cozy titles since dogs really are just the best, where To the Rescue has you running a dog shelter, taking care of the dogs by feeding, cleaning, and upgrading the facility, or while they wait to find a forever home. It has a really cute look where the designs of the various breeds of dogs is a highlight and the day-to-day -day carrying of these animals looks to scratch that life sim itch with the daily tasks to do. Wonderfully, the developers have also committed to donating 20% of the profits from this game to real dog shelters, so it will have an impact in real life as well, which makes it a no-brainer. A wonderful looking cozy title is Harmony's Odyssey, a puzzle adventure game which is not quite what you expect. Taking place in various dioramas, this has you rearranging the tiles in order to solve riddles and puzzles, matching characters and buildings to get the desired outcome. I love the look of this, especially the penguins shown off in the trailer, where in the store description, it names them as a trio of penguins looking to shoot some selfies, which I assume means putting them in front of a landmark, so it's that kind of puzzling that you have to do. If farming games are not your thing, then perhaps Moon Glow Bay will be of interest, where you play as a rookie angler trying to restore a fractured community, venturing forth to explore the oceans from the calm, placid bay to glaciers and boiling geysers, fish, cook, and keep the business afloat while uncovering the mysteries of the land. 40 years, and you still surprise me. I know this place seems strange, a fishing town afraid to fish. But that's why our new venture might just stay afloat. Because all those stories about the mystical monsters of Moonglow are exactly that. Stories. This bay is full of amazing new creatures waiting to be discovered. So we'll find them and share them with the world. Together. As long as this book is by your side. There does appear to be some sort of large fish or monster lurking in the depths, which is perhaps the source of problems in this community, but it does look so pleasant and it's worth keeping an eye on. Welcome home. The most wonderful title that I came across since I last talked about cozy games is Haven Park, one that has you taking over and managing your grandmother's park, building cozy campsites to keep the campus happy while ensuring that the park is clean, safe and worth a visit. First off, love the design of the bird main character which adds to the whimsy, and building up these campsites will attract quirky characters as well. You can chat and build a relationship with them, exchange stories around the campfire, and even go off on an expedition to see if there's any truth to the stories. 
the look and vibe of this does remind me of one of the all-time great cozy games, A Short Hike, with an awesome look and gameplay loop taking the number one spot. For a look at some of the best relaxing games that you can play right now, check out this video and I will see you after the jump.